Hello everybody, hi, I'm Tony, Tony Taria from freedomatthecrossroads.com. I'm a holistic fitness and health strategist, but I'm also a big foodie, so I'm a food advocate as well for the average person. And today I am on a rant about additives in our food, particularly an additive called EDTA. That's the short name of it. And it's rather long in terms of pronunciation. It's a long chain name that very few people, you know, easily pronounce. And so I'm just keeping it, you know, with the abbreviation. But um, the variety that I'm talking about is called disodium EDTA, and it's used in cosmetics, personal care items, and it's used in food. Now, why am I on a rant today? I'm on a rant today because I love mayo. Yes. I love mayo and um, I do make my own substitutes for mayo using avocado and some other natural and um, healthier alternatives but I love mayo and when I want mayo I don't want mayo that has a chemical preservative that is used in, in, in the industrial processes in the medical laboratories as a preserve I, I don't want it in my food bottom line I don't want it in my food it should not be in my food and it shouldn't be in yours either there are a number of um, health issues related to that a number I'm just gonna go briefly over I'm just looking at it over here because it's a long line I just made created a list of crap that it, what it does it's banned in some countries like Australia this crap is banned it's not banned here in the US and I am stark raving mad about it our regulatory agencies are really really letting us down here in the US it's not about the consumer it's about the industry and the processed food industry has its claws deeply in our regulatory agencies and that's why I have a tendency and I'm sure a number of other people who are you know advocates for um, health uh, for consumers too are very you know cynical when they think about the FDA and you know these regulatory processes that they you know engage in because essentially they leave these industries to self-regulate and we all know how well that goes right that's why we have polluted rivers and streams, environments. That's why we have environmental um, advocates fighting and picketing in front of the on the steps of you know the Senate and Congress in D.C. That's why we have advocates. That's why we have groups like Just Label It. That's why we have groups like the Environmental Working Group. Why? Because these things are being masked with all kinds of labeling tricky labeling practices and gimmicks that have our legislators have let these companies run rampant with and consequently people are literally having to become you know scientists when it comes to food who does that who wants to be or has the time to be a food scientist every freaking day that you go to the grocery store who does that one thing i'm ranting about today mayo now i could go through a whole list of other um canned or jarred items in the grocery store that are on the shelf that are not in the food aisle that i might be tempted to buy but all you have to do is look at the label of <laughs> mayo to see this crap is in your food and they're gonna tell you that oh it has no known um, negative effects on human health well they don't what they don't tell you is that they don't have enough data because they haven't been studying it and the few the few data that they do have out there it's fewer and far between and done years ago so in terms of reliability, are you gonna listen to somebody telling you, oh, it's okay, when you're hearing about it over the internet, you're hearing about it from um, holistic wellness sites, 
um, other organizations, you're hearing about it overseas where they have a better regulatory practices for food in particular and items and additives that are put in your foods and in your personal care items. Really? Yeah, that's why I'm on a rant. And I, one of the brands that I usually buy, I used to buy in the past, I no longer buy. Once I saw that, I'm like, what the WTF? This is in my mail, in this mail? Oh no, I won't be doing that anymore. And the other day, the irony of it is that the other day, this particular brand had the nerve to come out with an organic version that didn't have this EDTA in it. So they know they know this crap is questionable and it's toxic it's synthetic it causes look at this i'm just reading here aggravates food intolerances it's banned in a number of countries it's just got all these problems with muscle cramps kidney damage hello kidney damage i don't think so oh yeah let me go on here gastrointestinal problems and the list goes on so this is just an FYI for people especially if you're a lover of mayo like I am read your labels if you see disodium EDTA anything like that in your on your label or uh, particularly it's uh, found in a lot of um, salad dressings mayos different varieties these different creamy sauces it's in there as a preservative and it just keeps it keeps products from going rancid and the taste you know maintaining a flavor profile and things like that yeah people you need to do your homework and get on the bandwagon and really really fight and really call your legislators about this crap they're putting in your food because it's crazy and that's my rant you know um, I typically talk about fitness and health but in this instance I am talking about this particular additive in food because it really takes me off especially when I was doing some other research and finding about finding out how diff this how different regulatory systems are compared to the um, in Europe compared to the US I mean, I just, just can't believe it. I'm just reading here where, you know, essentially, you know, scientists here and abroad have, you know, made that distinction. They're like asking, who does that? How can you rely on an industry to regulate itself and expect good results? And time and time again, when you allow um, industry to regulate itself, Nothing good ever comes of that. We saw what happened here in the crash in the U in, in the worldwide in the U.S. when we were relying on the financial uh, industry to regulate themselves. What did they do? They blew up all the economies around the world. And then we're relying on food processed food industries to do what? Regulate food to to we're, we're trusting them when they have no they have no boss other than their shareholders and the almighty prophet so your health your wellness and that of your children and your environment is not their number one priority it's yours and so if you can't see that guess what you're in deep do yeah People might say, why is she ranting about mayo? I'm ranting about mayo because this is this is one of this is just one of the additives I'm talking about. There's a, I mean the list of the stuff. People have made careers just finding out the, the various additives that the processed um, and packaged food industry put in your food. They add tissue, GMO. GMO cells and organisms to process to your foods in order to give them a shelf life, change the flavor, addict you to their product, i.e. refined sugars, and they get away with it. And you're not mad about that? I'm mad about it. 
I am hopping mad about it, especially when people are trying to get fit and healthy and wondering why their hormones are going crazy, why they're, they can't lose weight, why are they suffering from brain frog and confusion and all of that? It's all this crap in your food and in the vir environment. EDTA pollutes the environment. It's all around. EDTA is found in a lot of foods. Watch out for imported goods. It's in canned soft drinks, tinned potatoes, salad dressings, like I said before, egg products. Oh my goodness, oleo, margarine, potato salad, lima beans, mushrooms, pecan pie filling, filling, sandwich spreads, and the list goes on. So this ingredient that no one seems to <laughs> want to tell you about is toxic. Now, there are all, they're all kinds of research papers by regulatory agencies here in the U.S. and, you know, people that subscribe to this uh, way of thinking, talking about, oh, there are no ill effects, you know, that they can, you know, that they've been able to come up with and there's a certain tolerance that you can, you know, get away with eating. And why do you need to get away with, why do you need to have a tolerance? for a chemical that you can easily avoid by not eating these products or by not putting them in products. And that's why I said, know where your food comes from and what's in your food. The channels, the airwaves are riddled with all the anecdotal evidence about the toxicity of this stuff. And yet our, reg you know, our agencies here in the US and other World Health Organization are still acting like they don't know this stuff is bad for you. It's bad for you. It's killing us worldwide. It's in the food chain all over. All these things that we allow these companies to dump into our water and food sources, it's killing us. And you wonder why we have so many health issues, cardiovascular issues, kidney disease, people suffering from hormonal imbalances. There you go. So this is Tony Ataria from Freedom at the Crossroads on my rant that started with mayo and it continues. Bye people.